here. So what are your top five storylines focused on the first half of the Major League Baseball season? Um, the, All right, so I'm going to go from five to one here. Uh, at number five, I have uh, how does Tony La Russa mesh with the Chicago White Sox? Mm -hmm. That was a hire that I scratched my head on as soon as it happened. I, I don't understand the hiring of Tony La Russa for this young team. You've got a, a very young, flamboyant team in the Chicago White Sox who, who are very talented and very good. But you've also got Tony La Russa, who is an old school manager. You've got Tony La Russa, who is, you know, notorious for being a, a what they what you want to call a hard ass. Yeah. So, you know, he is not the type of, uh, of manager that I saw. That, that music got really loud in my ears all of a sudden. <laughs> but, uh, no, you're good. Um, but no, I, La Russa is, um, you know, it, he's the one to look out for. I think this is a big storyline to, to take a look to see how the White Sox play under Tony La Russa in the first half. If it's not a problem and if they're playing good baseball, I know it's it's going to be a little bit different with the, the loss of Elo Jimenez. That's a huge loss for yeah. the Chicago White Sox. But... This is a, a storyline to watch for the first half because if they have a really bad first half, I, like I, I don't know, I don't know what they're gonna do because uh, I mean Tony Larusa, I, I, he can lose the room really quick if they're not performing well. Yeah, and that is the main reason why Hoffy did not have them winning the division was because that hire of Tony Larusa, La if I'm not mistaken. I mean he definitely hammered that point on when when we had him on earlier in the week was that higher. So what is yeah. your uh, headline number four to look out for the first half of the uh, Major League Baseball season? Uh, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim is their pitching. How is their pitching holding up? Can they keep Shohei Otani healthy? Uh, can uh, That's a big uh, if. Yeah, absolutely. Right, Tim? And so it's just keep an eye on that pitching staff, see how that pitching staff is holding up, because the offense I think will be just fine. It's going to depend on their pitching as to whether or not they can help them through uh, any lulls that they do have in the offense. So that's my storyline number four. So let me ask you this question. Do the Angels have to have a above high 500 first half of the season to have a, any opportunity to compete in the second half of this season? Uh, yeah, I well. I mean, I don't know. It, like, for me, it, it just depends on how the rest of the division plays. Look, the A's are that team, and I talk about it all the time. They always sneak up and win 90 games on you. The Houston Astros, I don't believe that they are a very scary team. I don't. Uh, the Texas Rangers are going to be a, a really bad team. They lost the Royals today. So it, it, it's, really, um, it's really about what the Angels pitching can do. And if they do struggle somewhat down the stretch, this is a division you could still possibly – have a chance in it, it is going to be i believe it's going to be a two-team race between the angels and the a's so it's not something that the you know that you can't recover from but that that pitching is going to have to hold up in order for them to have a chance yeah so combs is a uh, big on pitching here this in a 21 2021 season so yeah pitching is a much for, for the uh, angels there so topic number three yeah, topic number three, uh, NL Central. Uh, can anyone pull away in the NL Central? The, this is a division that I think can be won by the All-Star break, but it could also be one of those divisions where it is just played down to the wire because nobody can pull away. The Cubs, you know, came out today. If they're hitting like, like they've been hitting over the last two seasons, and, and that all signs today pointed to yes, then it's going to be a, a, a long, long season for the Chicago Cubs. If the Milwaukee Brewers play like they play today, and if their pitching is better than people think that it is, like, like Torrey Anderson has said that it is, the Milwaukee Brewers could run away with this division by the All-Star break. So it, that's uh, what I'm looking out for there in the NL Central. So you, so you were pretty high on the Cubs pitching like pretty much all off season, and then like the you know, and yeah. then and then Kyle Hendricks lasted three innings just tonight. Hopefully that is not yeah. a not 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 a trend for your Cubs, just because I'm passively rooting it. for the Cubs now. So hopefully yeah. they can get their pitching in order. I mean, just like everything that you alluded to pre-show was it was cold, right? It, like it was cold. It was. Oh, it was. It was yeah. Uh, it was. But on the flip side of that, it's cold in October, right, Holmes? So. Come on, man. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, it's different in October than it is in in, in 
April. You know what I mean? True. Like it, it's it's a very different cold. It's it's wet. It's it, you know rainy. It, it coming off the lake when that wind is whipping at, at you know the way it was whipping today and the wind chills below freezing. It's a very different environment at Wrigley. All right. So uh, sports head or sorry, Major League Baseball had headlines number two for the first half of the season. Well, what do you got? Can the Nationals stay healthy? No. They've got a lot of question marks. John Lester is a big question mark. He's shown over the last two years that when he gets hit hard, he gets hit hard. And then you've got Steven Strasburg, who just can never seem to stay healthy. You've also got a, uh, you know, they picked up Kyle Schwarber, who just can't seem to stay healthy. you got Juan Soto, who's already hurting, uh, heading out of spring training. So for the Nationals to compete in this division, which I think is going to be a very good and very competitive division, as we'll talk about later with Hoffie as we go through our predictions, uh, it, this this Nationals team needs to stay healthy if they're going to stay in this race. Yeah, uh, I mean, like listening to Hoffy and then listening to you for this last week here, I've been doing my own research on the backside side of things. And the Nationals, if they lose two or three stars for, on the 15 DL, uh, they are going to not be in the playoffs. Like, they they can't afford one injury, like one, yeah. one 15-day uh injury like yeah like, they're not like they're all. not very deep yeah. they're not very deep so uh sports uh, uh mlb uh he- headlines number one heading into the first half of the major league baseball season what do you got will the dodgers be able to avoid the world series hangover every team seems to have a hangover after they come off of a winning a world series and not only that but they have a team in their division in the San Diego Padres that got heads and tails better than what they were last year, and yeah. they were very good last year. Yeah. So you've got a very good team that got better while you kind of basically stood packed. Yes, I know you went out and you signed who, you know, uh, Buck and Wyatt will sit there and call the greatest pitcher of all time just to get under my skin no, and Trevor Cy, Bauer. Cy Young but winner. Put this put team, on his name. Yeah, this team is is not. I don't believe. I don't. I don't like the Trevor Bauer signing. I think he's going to have a bad year. I don't like David Price coming off of taking off of a year because he already lo- he looked really old yeah. in spring training, and so I, I just I don't think that the Dodgers can avoid the World Series hangover. I do still believe. I do still believe that they're going to win. You know, upwards of ninety plus games. So there's a spoiler alert for our predictions later, but. I, you know, are they going to be able to avoid the World Series hangover and still be dominant in the National League? So uh, over here on the chat line, Tim says no, they will not be able to avoid the World Series Series hangover. So. I, I don't disagree. I, I believe I believe the same thing. I, you know, he says Bauer was overpaid. I agree with that as well, Timothy. I believe you know Trevor Bauer. Not only was he overpaid, but he's overhyped. This is a guy who, in nine seasons in the league, has only had an ERA under four twice, and one of those times was a 60-game season. But did he win a Cy Young or, or like, or no? I'm, I'm asking for a friend. Yes, he won the Cy okay. Young last year in the 60-game so, season. So he was the yep. best. So he so he was the best pitcher in the league. He right? was the best pitcher in a short season when he okay. didn't have to go a full <laughs> season. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, so one thing over here in. What is going on? It's your boy Brandon Combs from the Man Hour. If you have not downloaded Thrive Fantasy yet, I am not sure what you're waiting for. Download Thrive Fantasy on the App Store or Play Store by visiting their website, www.thrivefantasy.com. Sign up and prop up today. Use promo code MANHOUR when you sign up today and you will receive an instant match bonus up to $50 on your first deposit of $20 or more. That's promo code MANHOUR, thrivefantasy.com. 